Sup, y'all? Bring you guys another video. Azinga Fuzile versus Kenichi Ogawa. To those who don't know yet, the fight is official. Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video, it helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Fight's taking place on the 27th of November, November 27, 2021, live over at the Garden, the Hulu Theater in Madison Square Garden, New York City, New York, live on The Zone in the undercard of the big fight between Teofimo Lopez versus Cambosos Jr., which is finally happening on November 27. Very good addition to the card, in my opinion. Another championship fight. Fuzile versus Ogawa will be for the vacant IBF title. The belt that uh, Jojo Diaz used to hold that he ended up uh, getting stripped off for failing to make weight. Um, so yeah, the Fuzile and Ogawa will be fighting for that, for that belt. Uh, Fuzile is ranked number two under the IBF and Ogawa is ranked number three. So, so yeah, they'll be fighting for the title, which is... Not a bad idea, in my opinion. Azile, uh, Azinga Fuzile, to those who don't know who he is, he's a 25-year-old fighter from South Africa. 15-1, and one, 9 wins coming by way of Naka Artikyo. Coming off a good win against Martin Ward, Stop Ward in the 7th round back in May of this year. The only time he lost was against Rakimov back in September 2019, uh, where he ended up losing in front of his hometown fans, uh, his countrymen, TKO. In round number eight and now here he is um you know fighting for a world title fighting for a world title uh following fuzile for quite some time now i always thought he could be a world champion i was shocked and su surprised that he lost to rakimov i honestly didn't expect him to lose that fight but he did but he redeemed himself in his last fight and hopefully they can fight they can do a rematch in the future because i i think fuzile is better than what he showed against rakimov um, and now here he is fighting uh, o Ogawa, a fighter from Japan, 25-1, and one, one draw, 18 wins coming by way of Nakar TKO. Only time he lost was way back in 2012 against Yuki Miyoshi. Uh, he avenged that loss in a rematch, and now here he is, uh, fast forward to the future, fighting for a world title. He had a no-contest fight against Tevin Farmer back in 2017, which... Uh, yeah, why did it become a no contest, actually? I can't remember. Oh, Ogawa tested positive for Androstandio. So, uh, it's a, I guess it's a, a uh, banned substance. And since then, he's won three of his last four fights. He had a draw against Joe Nonai. And he's coming up a win against Kazuhiro Nishitani. And now here he is, fighting in New York City, New York, against Azinga Fuzile. In a very good card in my opinion i'm excited y'all i i think this card has this event is something to look forward to november 27 is a, a day to mark down in your calendars if you are a big boxing fan like myself and i can't wait i can't wait let me know what you guys think in the comments thank you so much for listening thank you so much for watching and like always have a great day all right thanks